Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie. Welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Okay, I got some stuff to show you. And I gotta draw a number. Alright, well, let's start off with something that I found at the thrift store. And I absolutely love it. I put it there. It's a divider box. But it's a pencil. <laughs> I had to put it together. It was a little wooden kit. Ah. Yeah. Just a little wooden kit and... I, I keep it where I, I crochet at for y'all, and that way I've got darning needles, crochet hooks, scissors, stitch markers, pen and pencil. I need to put my measuring tape in there. I just thought about that. But okay, well, that's one of the... Uh, gadgets that I purchased for my yarn room and my channel. And here's another one. I'm particularly fond of this gadget. Let me get the paper protector off. I bought a crochet hook. And it's wood and resin. I've used it. But, um, they're not that expensive. Um, let's see. Yeah, I got the, uh, J10 6 millimeter. It's my favorite size. I can't help it. <laughs> and it's got the, the light blonde wood. And then it's got the resin in the middle that's, well, it's like pearl. Anyway, it's shimmery. Now, you can feel where the wood and the resin are, but it ain't that big of a deal. It really ain't. It, it's such a beautiful hook. Now, it's um, it's an inline, and this tip right here being wood. It's, um, it's pretty sharp. So I just got to be careful when I turn and, and pull through so that it don't snag. But it is so pretty. And see, it's stamped right there with uh, 6MM and in parentheses it's J. So that you don't forget what hook you're using. Okay. Oh, I purchased one other thing at the thrift store. I think it's a pencil holder, but it's slanted. And I'm going to keep my antique crochet hooks in it. Let's see. I think that's the only thing crochet related that I've gotten. But y'all don't want to hear about all that. I, I got me a new planner so I can plan out my weeks throughout the year. Um, 
Let's see. I got some more plain t-shirts. And I got some more uh, vinyl to make more Val's Yard Room shirts. Woo! Uh, TT's already claimed one. So, <laughs> I only got three shirts. <laughs> and TT's already claimed one, so. <laughs> Alright, I hold on my lap my Val's picks. But I'm thinking mighty seriously about taking it apart and doing it in a different design. Because I already have a blanket made in this design. And I kind of like the patterns that I've been doing lately. The, um, what is it, the rolling fan and the, the granny chevron. I, I don't I don't even know what all I've been doing. I I've, I've been doing a lot of patterns lately. Um Yeah, I'm thinking about especially about undoing mine and uh redoing it in a different pattern. Cuz like I said, I've already got a blanket made in this pattern, which is a very simple pattern. All right, let's get to the pattern. I know I have not sewed in my hands. That's all the pattern is. I did three rows of double crochet here. I did a solid row of double crochet here. And here in the middle of my color pick, I did a lattice design. And then I did a solid row. And then I did three rows of my base color. But that's what mine looks like so far with um, that being my first pick in Val's Picks. All right, y'all ready for the pick? I am. I'm excited. I want to get started. <laughs> okay, got my little bucket. Let's stir it up. Let's put my hand over it and let's shake it up. I don't want a number one again. If we get a number one again, I might just have to draw again. <laughs> I picked a number. Now keep in mind, it's one through eight. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. The second number picked in Val's picks is number two. <laughs> That's crazy. Number two. <laughs> okay. Well, at least it wasn't number one again. All right. Hold on a minute. Let me get my chart and my color so I can show you what mine's going to be. All right. I got my chart, and my number two says Craft Smart Kiwi Green. I think I got enough. Like I said, my Val's picks, it's going to be a stash buster. I have too much yarn. I'm trying to use it up. But that's my color. Kiwi green. I don't know if it's going to look too good next to, uh, what is that? Red Heart Super Saver Pooling. Oh, it might look good. That's the whole point of Val's picks is... You don't have to pick the color. The chart picks the color. All right, well. I guess I'm going to get off of here and me and my new crochet hook 
we're gonna get started now oh let me tell you more about this hook okay um you'll notice that the design of it is is fat in the middle oh it's so comfortable to hold on to so comfortable it's got a long shaft here for the guy uh, the yarn to go up on and this just fits perfect in your hand okay the design of it kinda looks like one of them other crochet hook companies y'all know which one I'm talking about and they real expensive this is not it's almost the same but at half the price it's a little bit longer which I actually kind of like because when I'm holding it here it sticks out the end of my hand instead of hitting the palm of my hand I can hold on to it better and it don't hurt my arm my my wrist this wrist is just completely shot <laughs> okay the name of the company that I got that hook from is Omi O M M I and it's Omi crochet hooks and they say that they are handcrafted I can believe that I love that resin in the middle it, it, it just oh it looks like pearl they've got other ones too they've got solid resin in different colors they got um, solid wood in the light or the dark yeah y'all check them out Omi crochet hooks O M M I good company I got that that crochet hook just like that and like I said at half the price yeah I think that's gonna be my new favorite crochet hooks is the Omi all right I'm gonna let y'all go because I've been running my jaws for almost 13 minutes um I also got some new jewelry making stuff so that I can make some more stitch markers I might be putting them up for sale soon yeah I know it was dirt cheap all right I will see you in the next one for another grand adventure right here in Val's Yarn Room. Love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. And um, I will be showing my, my temperature blanket on the first Wednesday of every month. So, we're not on the first Wednesday yet. We've only had one Wednesday and then today. So, I ain't got but four rows done. Well, I, right now I ain't got but two. I will have four rows done. <laughs> oh, okay. So, every week though, until we're done, I'll show my Val's picks and pick another number. So far, we've gotten one. And two, which is ironic. It really is. That's blowing my mind. Watch, next week will be three. <laughs> Don't go ahead and start on three because it could be eight. We never know. It's the luck of the draw there. I mean, it's just randomly whatever I draw from the bucket. Okay. Um. Oh. Drop my crochet hook box. Yeah, it comes in a pretty little box of its own.
Well, there's the name. O M M I Crochet. Or some people call it Crochet. <laughs> T T. <laughs> Sometimes me too, I gotta admit it. <laughs> Alright, well, I just heard my dog bark, so I gotta get off of here. Hit that subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Share if you can. Leave me a comment. Like I said, do something nice for somebody. Love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.